What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to the fifth episode of My Team Romcom Snafu uh, Climax. This is titled, uh, Shizuka Hiratsuka Deeply Longs for the Days Past. Interesting how last episode we had uh, Yui thinking of the future, now we've got Sensei thinking of days past. Interestingly. Um, so yeah, we know uh, Hachiman and her are about to have a conversation about what's happening with the prom now, because the school has decided to cancel it all of a sudden, so something changed. And Hachiman was not told of this specifically because of um, Yukno, right? Uh, so, because Yukno wants to do it herself, she doesn't want to get anyone else involved, so she's not going to tell him about it. Um, so yeah, we also met, met the mother again. I, was that the first time we saw the mother? I can't remember. I don't remember if we had seen the mother beforehand. It's been a long time, so I don't know if uh, the mother was here. Yeah, I think we have seen her before. It's, I think she appeared in season two at least. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have very bad memory of that. Um, season three. So... Yeah. It's likely to involve the mother, I think. Because she was kind of one of the main sticking points here of the prom. And now it's... Something's happened and the school said, yeah, no, we're not doing this. The pressure from that side makes a bit of sense. But it's going to be Sensei who's going to be explaining that to us here in a minute uh, when Hatchman gets back. And poor Yui, um, hearing him... I promised I'd save her one day in reference to Yukno. She's faced with a harsh reality, and I think the series has kind of made its stance here that Hachiman would probably end up with Yukno. I think that's almost certainly put together now. Like, I don't think... Like, I think that is Yui... I think her chance has now gone. I think that's what that scene kind of implied there, that she doesn't have a chance anymore. Um, who else has a chance? Iraha? Nah, too late in the game f when she joins. Like, he's already established himself with Yukno at this point. I don't think anyone can get between him and Yukno now at this point. I think if this series is going to end with a confession and him actually getting with any of them, it's going to be Yukno. Now, this series might not actually put any of them together in the end. They might all agree that it would not be a good idea. They might all agree that way. And just decide to stay as friends or all go their separate ways. It'd be interesting to see which way they want to go for. Uh, but they could... I could see... As much as I want them to pick pick one and then go with it, I'd also actually be kind of convinced and would not mind at all if at the end he didn't get with any of them. And they all decide, you know what? This probably wouldn't work out. There's too much here still conflicting. So, we'll see what uh, they end up going with, but we now have to deal with Sensei, the explanation on why the prom is cancelled. That is our main focus right now. So, uh, there's not really much more for me to explain, really, of last time. Uh, so, as always, these are time-based reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the time of the episode. I'll count us down, 3, 2, 1, play. And then on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, we're all in sync. I'm watching the official Crunchyroll version, which is linked down in the description. If you don't have the, uh, the subscription service, just wait a week, the episode becomes free. Uh, I'll call out OP and obvious ad breaks if they're visible um, to help those of you who are using different versions. So, um, yeah. I think that's everything I had to say. Let's get into episode 5 in 3, 2, 1, play. TBS. Right, we're recapping with this moment here. Okay. He walks off. She walks off and hides behind the corner. He looks back, and she's not there. He runs ahead. Off he goes. We don't see her crying in the corner this time. We already know that happened. Okay, staff room. Obviously, Maxis. He 
Yeah, considering though. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Is it that simple then? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Mm hmm. Fair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm hmm. Well, you say that. All right, OP time. Oh, Kamachi. We haven't seen him yet, have we? Um, is his name Yoshitaru? I think that's his name. We haven't seen him this season yet. I don't see what relevance he'd have, honestly, but, you know. We have had Saika, so... Best Boy did show up. All right, here we go. Sunset. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Right. She wants to prove she can do something on her own. Mm-hmm. Almost certainly. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Ooh. 
right. Yeah, it's a little complex between all of you. Okay. 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 Right. I mean, she's leaving anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh Wow. I mean I think a lot of us would. Mhm. <laughs> All right, that was a good moment. Okay. Now we got to think of this plan of action. Not here, huh? Of course he did. Yep, as expected. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Outbreak time. We back. Where have we gone off to? Well... Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, but... Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Uh huh. Don't be vague. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. 
Probably not. <laughs> not a lot of people change their minds once they've decided on something. Tuh. <laughs> I think you didn't vocalize that bit. Hiding all the stuff, trying to make sure that the work's not visible. Oh, that got a reaction out of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that went them well. Mm-hmm. I have no translations for any of this, so I have no idea what relevance any of this has. Fair. Keep classy, dress code, no uploading photos, official photographer. Official photographer is a good move. Hmm. Normal circumstances, right. Mm hmm. They specifically want it to pull through. Okay. Is it, though? This is going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? Just straight going to say it, all right. Okay. Is offering an alternate. Okay. Interesting.
Okay. And that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What are you going to say, dude? Oh, he straight said it to her face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Fair. Interesting. Ah, okay, here I have a chairman in. Right, yeah, the problem is the priority. Yeah. Okay. Accepting it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just a bit. Might as well be. Just the way she's drawn in this shot in particular just shows how she's disconnected from these two. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mm hmm. So both Yui and Iroha have now realized. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Okay. That episode went real quick, actually. We have an after credits scene. Got it. That's why it felt like it went rather quick. We do have after credits.
All right. So after credit scene, what do we get here? I wonder. Yes, TBS. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have Earhart alone. Okay. Okay, confidence. Okay. We wanted to get out of there very quickly after that. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're getting a scene with those two now. Hey, Yoshitero is actually back. I think it's Yoshitero. And Saika. Woo. All the side characters are reappearing. Once again, Hatchman Hikiya makes a speech. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Sentai Filmworks. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, that's it. Yeah, we're fine. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. So we're making progress. More specifically, Hachiman and Yukno are making progress. Alright. I'll be honest, though. I don't know how much this show differs from Season 1 and Season 2. Because, like I said, it's been a while since I've watched Season 1 and Season 2. It was one of the f first show. Well, it wasn't one of the first shows I watched. It was very early on into my anime watching. Because I went down the... I started watching anime, and I was like... Watching these various shows, like Girls and Pawns, A Kill, A Kill. Uh, those were like two of the first shows I ever watched. And then I was like, well, what type of shows do I really want to watch? So I was like, there's so many in front of me. What type of show do I really want to watch? And I was like, well, comedies are always going to be good. Like, I always enjoy a good laugh. That's easy. So I gravitated towards comedies, and a lot of them would be romantic comedies. Uh, rom-coms are very popular, so I gravitated towards that. And then more and more I realized how much I, I gravitated towards the romantic side of things. And to romantic shows in general. So I basically found pretty much every post-2006 romantic anime. Looked at it and thought, is this something I want to watch? And then that's what happened, basically. That's how a lot of my anime that I first watched happened. And uh, Snafu was somewhere in there. A while back. Uh, so. I don't know. I, I look back on that show fondly. Like I look back on the first two seasons very fondly. As something I enjoyed. But I'm not so sure. That my tastes in anime. Have. Maintained that same perception. Maybe I think of it. Too highly in my mind. When I think back on season one and two. That season three feels... How can I put this? I'm enjoying it. But I struggle to think of it as anything special. And I don't know why I'm having that doubt now. Maybe it's just a weird day for me. Maybe it's just because I have been... It's been a pretty terrible week of uh, just trying to sleep, and now we've got a heat wave, so I'm just, I'm, I'm boiling, like, 
I say heat wave, we're meant to hit 32-ish, 33-ish um, in over the day, which uh, I know for a lot of you won't, wouldn't be that high, but for England, that is scorching, especially when it maintains above 20 at night as well. That's the worst, when it maintains above 20 at night, because that's when I record, and it's like, I want it to be cold at night. I love it being at cold at night. It means I get to wear my hoodies and my jackets and stuff, and I'm just like, ugh. Like I'm even now I'm I'm sweating quite a bit actually. Uh, I'm very lucky that I don't sweat that much though. I very I very much consider myself lucky in the fact that I don't sweat much. Like even during sports days at school and stuff, I was never someone that would sweat a lot. And like visibly, I you wouldn't see if I was sweating or not, even though I'd be boiling. So I'm lucky there. But maybe it's just the accommodation factors. But I don't know. Does this season? It's been interesting to see how this all wraps up. I'm interested to see how it ends, but at the same time, I don't feel like I'm as invested maybe as I should be. Maybe if I actually had the time and went back and completely binged the first two seasons before leading into this, maybe I'd be a bit more into it. I don't know. Um, but I think this is a show that I need to go back and rewatch the entire thing start to finish, and be, like, fully involved in it. Because I think that break, the long break between Season 2 and this, is probably playing against it somewhat. And maybe my perception of it has changed because of that. Or just my taste in general of anime has changed over the past few years of watching various shows. I don't know. But uh, this is my thoughts on it. Um, because I want to be honest... And that might be the reason why this show ends up a little lower on the ranking of summer 2020 when I eventually get round to that at the beginning of um, October, which will be the beginning of the full season. Uh, that might be the reason why it ends up being a little lower score than I expect. But now we... So we have Yui that is aware that Hachiman is fully intent on Yukino, and we now have... Um... um Iraha, also aware that he's very serious about pursuing after uh, Yukino. And we have a bunch of the side characters showing up next week, and I think it was Yoshiteru. Let me just double check that I'm make I'm saying that right. Uh, yes, it's Yoshiteru. Uh, Zamakuza. Yeah, Yoshiteru. Cool, I was right. It's always nice when you remember a character's name first time. And then Saika, best boy, of course. Um, so yeah, we'll see what his speech ends up being, because didn't he have us like a speech or something beforehand? Let's see. I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Probably just misremembering. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that was episode 5. Still enjoyable. Like seeing these character developments. Um, I, I, I like Sensei a lot, but like, yeah, it was never going to be... Like, she was never a real contender for Roots, because like, very few shows have the balls to pull off a controversial relationship like that. Because teacher-student relationships are not well depicted in anime, realistically. Like, that doesn't happen in a serious what-if scenario. Like, it's usually for the sake of etchy-based stuff. I think, um, why the hell are you here, teacher? I think that was an example of it. Uh, something like, um, oh, what was the name of that show? The Domestic Girlfriend, the one where he was... He had a one-night stand with uh the a girl who ends up being his sister and his teacher that he's been crushing on also ends up being his sister uh after a remarriage yeah i think that was it that's the only other time there's been a parental the te if i remember that show correctly the teacher was a bitch though and i hated her if i remember that show correctly i think the teacher was a bit of a bitch um but yeah and then the only other time i can think of an actual serious piece that actually tried to explore a relationship that normally would not be viewed as accept well, acceptable. I don't know. It depends on how you feel it. But uh, there was the uh, something to do with rain. I forget the name of it. Is it after the rain? Maybe that sounds familiar. 
After the Rain, yes, 2018 TV anime. Uh, winter 2018 of a uh, high school athlete that uh, has fallen in love with a divorced 40-something-year-old uh, manager, 45-year-old manager of Garden Cafe, yeah. That was a serious tr uh, attempt at depicting a relationship that is... Um, uh, yeah. A depiction of a relationship you wouldn't typically see, as opposed to just two high school students and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it was never going to happen. But anyway, uh, episode six next week. Looking forward to it. Uh, we'll be at the halfway point, and we'll see uh, where we end up going with this. Um, be interesting to see. So, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, as per usual. Uh, leave a like if you did. Leave a comment what you thought of the episode, and don't forget to hit subscribe to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Summer 2020 live you can find on my channel. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.